Good morning, Lakeview students and staff. Welcome back to school. This year is Principal Otterson and our brand new assistant principal this week. Ilana. Ilana, how you doing today? Good. Good. How did you get this prestigious award of being the assistant principal? Um, I always try my best and I show pride and behavior in school work. You know, and I know that. Not only does Mrs. DeVries say, tell me that, but I've seen that from you ever since you've been, you've been here since kindergarten, right? When you're about that tall. <laughs> And now look at boys and girls, how big you get when you get into fifth grade. Well, congratulations for being our assistant principal. I look forward to working with you this week. So tell me, how's today been? Pretty good day? Yeah. Why is it such a good day? Um, my teacher is really nice to me, and I'm really happy to be assistant principal. That's awesome. That's good. Now, do you have a brother? Yes, I have a brother. What's your brother's name? Gleb. Gleb? You want to say hi, Gleb? Hi, Gleb. Hi, Gleb. Hello. I bet he's smiling right now. So give us an interesting fact or a fun fact about you, something we wouldn't know about you. Um, I think a couple of people know this, but I can speak three languages. What languages can you speak? Russian, Ukrainian, and English. Good for you. English is hard enough, let alone trying to learn one other language, but then you also speak another language. That is so good. And boys and girls, one thing to remember, the more language you, languages you can speak, the better you will be. Today is Wednesday, January 10th. It is cycle day three. On this day, back in 1898, Catherine Blodgett, there's a picture of her here, she made an invention of non-reflective glass, which is used today in windshields, eyeglasses, and microscopes. She's like an engineer. She's a scientist. So we just want to honor her. Back in 1898, how many years ago is that? Um, like a thousand? No. No? I'm not sure. We'll let we'll let the math students out there figure that one out. Our announcements. Oh, we're just gonna talk about persevering. Okay, we all know what perseverance is, and that means trying, you know, something's hard, you just keep trying and trying and trying to to figure it out and to to do better. So is there an example of something that you have to persevere through? Um, I don't really like math, so sometimes it can be hard. But you don't give up, do you? No. Because you need math. And if you're like that inventor we just talked about, Miss Blodgett, you need math to be able to create something like that. I, on the other hand, have had issues with reading when I was a little kid. I had to sit and work really hard at that. Believe it or not, boys, girls, and even you can be a principal and an assistant principal, even if, you know, math and reading aren't easy, but you just keep persevering, right? We went around and gave out some golden trays. Who would we give one out in, in kindergarten? Um, Mrs. Ganya. How about first grade? Novotny. Novotny. How about second grade? Um, Miss Tweedell. And Miss Tweedell, the first question they asked us was... Um, did Mr. English get a golden tray? Because I think they're like tied getting uh, golden trays. So I don't know. We're going to find out. In third grade, um, Mr. English. And in fourth grade, Mr. English. and that is the English that the kids in Miss Tweedell's class are all wondering about, and so is Mr. English's class wondering about Miss Tweedell's class. And in fifth grade, Mrs. Schuster. so congratulations to all of our Golden Tray winners. It's fun to go around and hand those out today. In other news, the longer the test, the better you feel when it's over. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Why? Because after sitting for a long time and doing a test, it feels good to like stand up and be over with it. Right, your brain starts to ache. You know, you're just like, oh, I just need to take a break. I think that makes sense. Dad joke. This comes to us from a fifth grader. Liam, why did the queen go to the dentist to get her crowns? Very good. We are LV Pride. We are. I'm going to be responsible and volunteer and I look forward to seeing you greatness today. Goodbye. Bye. I'm Jamie. And I am Liam. And I'm Abby. We are fifth graders here at Lakeview. We are in the Lakeview Media Center. What do we, What do our Lakeview students need to show pride when they're in the Media Center? Be positive by making a good choice and have a good and have a voice level where zero in the media center. Be responsible. 
be being gentle with our books and materials. Also, returning your books on time. Be involved by putting all materi- materials back in the correct place. Be determined by picking a book that is at the right level for you. Be equitable by always being kind and helpful. Thank you for showing Lakeview Pride in the, our media center.